Forget it, Bart. It's so bright out, you can't see anything in the sky except the Fox satellite. Assholes, I call them. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. Okay, turn off the camera. Your interview is done. What is this, The Matrix? What am I looking at here? I'm like, eh, where's Neo? This is the fiction section. Fiction means it's a made-up story. Because of a force called gravity. What does gravity look like? I, I, I don't know. Lying about going to the moon is a satanic lie. Hey, a gigantic sword. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck when you go. Well, I'm out. I don't hit And get the hell out of my house. But we believe them because they're pounded into our heads from the time we're children. That's what they do with that kind of stuff. They put it in the heads of kids. They pound it in there because kids, they know kids are too young to be able to mount a sophisticated argument against these kind of ideas. By the way, how much money is being spent on space? You should emblazon this in your head. Here it goes. This is the pie chart. $330 billion a year is spent on space. Spent on space. Spent on space. When you search it in a search engine, all you get is misinformation. You don't even get real critical thought on it. Everybody in this room was taught the story of how Columbus went before Queen Isabella of Spain and he was going to prove to her that the world was the globe. So this world is round story is 100% bullshit. It's total fiction. Yet how did our grandparents learn this? We learn this? Our grandchildren are probably going to learn this. How come? Because history is pop culture. That person there is being spun around at about a thousand miles an hour and it doesn't know it. I mean, this is obvious nonsense. Put your left hand on the Bible to raise your right hand. To swear to God, stick it in your ear. You walked on the moon. We're giving the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. Okay, I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. You don't leave me alone. Did you see shooting stars? Uh, but uh, did you see the shooting stars? Yeah, I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, there's a lot of noise going on. It, so I, I don't I don't know the results of some of the experiments they've conducted. The point is they can't get that far from here, and, and they're really in the protective confines of the Earth. So they're really in the protective confines of the Earth. One of the arguments people say about flat Earth is, well, that's stupid. People would fall off the edge. Well, not really. Just do a Google search. Go on Google and search for a coastline of Antarctica, and you're going to see that the coastline of Antarctica consists of two and three hundred foot ice caps. No one's falling off anything. And if you'll notice on this map how the ice wall looks, well, down here where they supposedly tour at, this is the only part of the little ice wall that sticks out. I really want your generation to embrace is that the earth is a closed system we cannot leave the earth there's no place to go I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling but someday someone will and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. 500 years ago everybody knew the earth was flat you know what we adopted this whole model like four or five hundred years before the airplane. So if they were wrong, after five hundred years, the question is, would they tell you?